we're doing the same problem in a different fashion. I'm trying to eliminate the negatives in this problem. So what I'm going to do, we're going to leave this the way it is. Transpose the one. And we're going to transpose this term and it'll become positive over here. I'll put this in brackets that it belongs under the sign. Now we're going to get rid of the x minus 3 and we have three turns so it's going to be x minus 3 x minus 3 and x minus 3. So this cancels and I'm left with 2 plus x minus 3 equals 6 times x minus 3 over x minus 8. Now we have to get rid of the x minus 8. We multiply each term by x minus 8. x minus 8 and x minus 8. Okay, and that was a plus sign. Okay, and this cancels. All right, now let's expand. Okay, I can multiply. I have two of these, so I have two x's. Two times negative eight, negative 16. Negative 16. We have to FOIL this. x times x, x squared x times negative 8, negative 8x, negative 3x, and two negatives, positive 24 equals 6x, and 6 times 3 is 18. Okay, now we have all this information. Now let's transpose everything to the left-hand side. Zero. All of this comes over here. Let's start off with the x squared term, first of all. We have two x's over here. We have this and this. This is minus 11 plus 2 is minus 9. They are x's. This one, we move it over, becomes minus 6x. Okay, and we have this over here is going to be positive and negative, be plus 8. And this one I move it over, be plus 18. Now we're going to collect like terms again. We have an x squared term. 9 and 6 is negative 15x. And 8 and this is going to be plus 26 equals 0. This is a quadratic which can be factored. So it'll look like this. Now I've done all of this stuff in equations. Okay, if you go back and check there, I've done a great job with that. x times x is x squared. Now if I break up 26, it becomes 2 times 13. I haven't put the signs in yet, because this is negative, so this has to be a negative 2, and a negative 13 will give me negative 15. And if I multiply it, the two negatives become a positive. Okay, so when x is 2, this goes to 0. So, so x is 2, and over here, And x is 13. So when x is 13, that goes to 0. So 0 times this is 0. And this becomes the two answers to this problem with no negatives. If you compare the first one, we had negatives everywhere. Here we've eliminated a lot of them.